hi and welcome. I already have my cards shuffled with intention about what I'm trying to do, and I'm going to go ahead and lay out three cards. In this first interpretation of the three card spread, we are going to be focusing on past, present, and future. So very much our own personal story or timelines. Um, in this spread, I can see already that this first card, which is the Ace of Swords, has to do with intelligence. Maybe you went to school and performed very well, or you did a lot of reading, a lot of personal scholar work, um, but it can also symbolize success or leadership. So maybe you were a great leader, very headstrong, lots of people looked up to you. Um, in the present formation, we see Four of Wands. That's a very spiritual card because the Wand Sue is fire. It's represented by fire and spirituality. Um, in this one, it actually symbolizes church and congregation of beliefs, um, other things as well, but it's also a very stable number. I would say that it's um, in the present you are looking for spiritual stability, looking for a way to harness your abilities um, in a way that makes you feel more grounded and present in the moment. And this future card might represent as the Queen of Wands, um, an extension of that, um, maybe reaching a point where you are indeed more spiritual, more stable, um, and more influential. Um, this is definitely a higher card in comparison to the four. Um, there's a cat pictured here, so maybe some animal instincts are conquered and you find yourself in a position where you feel more sure of yourself and what you believe in and what you really want to do with your life. This next spread is going to be representing mind, body, and spirit. So first we have the Three of Wands, the Magician, and the King of Wands. So we have the Three of Wands here, which represents the mind in this three-card formation. And it would suggest that your mindset and your mental pattern is very much set in early stages of creative endeavors. The Wands are a fiery suit, so they're things that you want to create, you want to make, you want to, um, to influence upon the world. Um, and there's a lot of ground to cover. It's very early on. Three out of ten, ten cards and courts. So you're very early on. And um, I guess you see yourself as a sort of newbie. <laughs> a creative newbie. Here in the body position, we have you feeling that you want to create. That you can come up with um, incredible ideas. Here you can see all four suits represented um, as a way of showing that the magician is master of elements. Is the master of... Um, the mind, the self, and that is when you start to produce or create this magical thought process. It's, it's the creation of an idea, and you're taking that idea as far as your body is concerned and maybe trying a new sportsy endeavor, maybe trying to um, exercise in a way that's more creative and more intuitive to yourself. Um, it's a very early on Major Arcana card, number one. So maybe you're just starting to get to a position where you feel like you can actually um, do things with your body that you couldn't do before, creating new territory for you to discover. And in the King of Wands, we see for spirit, it seems that as far as your spirituality is concerned, um, it's also creative. And it's also um, more formulated than other places of your life. Um, maybe you regularly go to church or um, read a lot of spiritual books or just meditate often. It seems like you're very secure in what you're doing right now. Um, there's definitely room to expand, but this is, this is definitely very high ranking and a good sign for spiritual development, I would say. All right, this next one is strengths, weaknesses, and advice. This one's actually really useful if you just generally want to check in and see if there's something you can learn from the cards. Um, let's see. Your strength is um, a lot of emotional fulfillment, joyful um, and thankful, maybe even romantic. Um, so, so much emotion with the cups being represented here, which is a water-based element suit. Um... And it shows shows maybe even a family being started or formed successfully. Um, there's there seems to be a new beginning. There's a rainbow in the background. Um, all of it seems to be very genuine and positive. So you seem to have that strength of creating nourishment and comfort for um, a small group of people, including yourself. 
weakness here would be um, strength, which is ironic. Um, maybe you're too forceful, maybe you're too abrasive, um, or maybe you're just so trailblazing. Um, weaknesses aren't necessarily a negative trait, they're just things that sort of poke out more than other traits of yourself in a way that's not helpful to your lifestyle ultimately. And I guess this would suggest that you just need to rein things in a little bit and um, tame the inner beast. The piece of advice that the cards seem to be giving is the Ace of Wands, um, a new spiritual endeavor, starting anew. Um, Ace is always a new beginning, a birth, a commencement, and the Wands are very spiritual and artistic um, and very magical. Maybe you are diving into learning tarot. <laughs> All in all, I would say um, that you just have a little work to do with not being too intense or aggressive with your with your way of life, um, but keep nourishing people and yourself as you have, and um, just seek um, new spiritual outlets, new ways to um, expand the soul. This next one's really fun, um, pretty chill. It's literally just three options, so you lay out three cards and just see, you know, which one of these is actually realistically helpful or interesting to me? In this first one, we have the Queen of Cups. Maybe a new love interest. Maybe um, someone helpful that doesn't necessarily have to be female, but feminine, for sure. Um, crowned and with a single cup, she seems very sure of herself. And um, if it represents yourself as a choice, um, maybe finding a personal position of emotional comfort also. Um, either way, it seems to be a very positive and loving option. The second one is the sun, which is also very positive and loving, but more outgoing. Um, it's the, it's the union of all the best attributes of yourself and then applying them into the world in a way that brings happiness to others, not just yourself. Um, so this one seems to be more outgoing and expansive, but both so far positive. This third one, judgment, um, maybe it's something that you have been avoiding about yourself that you're not sure about that you need to change or reevaluate. Um, I would say that it's not a bad card, but it is a heavier card, a more serious thing for you to take care of. Um, maybe a bit of personal development. This next one's very helpful for relationships. The first card will represent yourself. The second one, your lover. And the last card, um, the overall relationship, status, and quality. Um, this first one, the Knight of Pentacles, you are a lover of beauty. You are a lover of good things. Um, not just, when I say beauty, I don't just mean physical appearance. I also mean just value. Things that are beautiful and valuable, like a great smile or um, a wonderful disposition. Um, you're someone who values the best traits of your lover or your partner. And the partner seems to be someone who is very much looking at their options emotionally. They're very um, unsure of which direction they're going yet, but they're still formulating their thoughts and opinions on these options and which one is best. Um, yeah, they're just trying to be decisive is really what they're like. Whereas you are just looking for something that is good, like a good opportunity, solid. And the relationship status, Seven of Pentacles, um, you're cashing in. You're having a good time. It's the love that you deserve and that you're going to get. Um, but it is a practical sign, which may suit you because you are also Pentacles, all, also very, um, you know, fairly serious in demeanor. Um, but yeah, just don't look for anything too deep or spiritual with this relationship. It's very much just an average B plus sort of experience. And last but not least is one that I made up personally. Um, it's the first time I'm going to be trying it, so I don't even know if I'll like it, but I'm about to try it out anyways. We have love, hope, and dreams. Love is very much the things that we, um, we want to care for. We want to make sure that they're safe and looked after because they mean something to us. They're personal. Hopes are something that you would like to see in the future, but you never really put too much thought into it. It's just always in your back pocket, something that you keep with you. And dreams are something that you want to formulate and strive for in the future, things that matter to you that you want to put energy towards. So it would seem that right now your love is sort of a mess. With the Five of Cups, 
it really has to do with your perspective. Maybe you had a bad experience, maybe things weren't so great, but um, even though the, there's spilt milk, there's two more cups of milk right behind you, buddy. It's gonna be okay. There's lots of fish in the sea. Um, just, I think this card is really trying to say that your love needs to be revalued. You need to look at it and remember that you deserve love and not every bad experience is some horrible rut that you're stuck through. Um, so just chin up, buddy. <laughs> Hope, I would see, as the chariot is, um, maybe you're hoping to get in a place where you, you master things you're, you're struggling with duality-wise. Um, you're not sure if you want to be more practical and earn money, maybe, or if you want to be more spiritual and outgoing. And um, those things you've been struggling with, you hope will come together in a, a way that's helpful, ultimately, and that you can move forward. Um, that's just a personal example, but it could mean also maybe a car. Maybe you're hoping for some form of transport. Um, but it's really more of the, the forward motion idea. The idea that things are reigning in and are going into the future positively. So maybe you're just hoping, hoping to find more stability and control for your life. And for dreams, it looks like in your dreams, the Four of Pentacles, you have what you need, but it's sort of a, a low, isolated energy. You're holding on to the things that you have, not to be thankful for them or enjoy them. You're enjoying them, but it's more of just, you know, a self-flex. Like, you're kind of on, on your own and enjoying what you have, but to little avail. You're not really hanging out or having a good time. Um, so maybe your dreams are to just have enough change in your pocket that you can make it by without living paycheck to paycheck, which isn't a bad dream, not necessarily, but um, it's definitely a more simple and materialistic one, something that um, most people deal with on the reg, just having enough money. Mm -hmm.